All right, guys, since you guys liked my last video about my 12 gauge, I'm going to go ahead and review my Henry U.S. survival rifle. Uh, I never heard about these until about a year ago. And I was like, you know what? This this, this is actually my first gun, my first gun I ever, ever bought. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to make it like a tradition. Some people get their first 22. Here's my first 22. And yeah, some people get the Ruger 1022 and all this other stuff, but I decided to make mine something unique and get the uh, U.S. Henry Survival Rifle. Um, so I'm just going to go over a little bit about it and uh, show you how it works and other good stuff as I go along. So, this I don't remember how much this cost me, but it's all black. Hush. Uh, what did I just tell you? Anyway, forget the dog. Uh, it's yeah, it's black, so I it's just a smooth plastic. So I was like, you know, what, I need more grip on this, so I grabbed some uh, camo form uh, multi cam and uh, wrapped it up. Just got some good grip on it, so when I uh, shoulder it, I can get a good sheet rest, and it's just really grippy to. It's better to grab. It's it's easier to hold on to. You get more grip on it so on and so forth um apparently this thing can float i haven't tested it hope i don't ever have to but if it does i checked a few youtube videos apparently it's shown that it can float so so what i'm going to go ahead and do is put this together explain each everything about it but then well actually here's the let me explain this first so the cool thing is everything fits in the stock as you can see that's how thick the stock is everything fits right here so everything is in here. So let's go ahead and open up that and I'll assemble this for you guys. Yep. So just like that, everything's in there. Oh, and there goes my barrel. So and here you have your receiver. You have. Actually, you know what? What I'm going to go do is just set this down and explain the receiver a little bit, or at least let you guys look at it. So I've only I've only shot this once. I've put around 50 rounds through it, and so far so good. So I'm liking it. Uh, so a little bit about this. It, it just screws in to the stock there. It's got a small peephole sight. It's kind of hard to aim through, but it's better than nothing. And I think you can also mount a small scope on there, a special scope or whatever. But I'm not going to do that because then that takes away from it being a concealable uh, package rifle. Um, let's see. It's got your, yeah, your safety here, which is good with me. It doesn't move unless it's locked and loaded. Um, got your mag. Make port. There's the interior of the bolt carrier group. And you got your trigger. It's a nice trigger. And then here you have your uh, mag release. There's the word. And this is by Henry Repeating Arms. Yep. Yeah. Henry U.S. Survival Mut. Yeah. Excuse my words here. Henry U.S. Survival Rifle. And, uh, it's a something but U.S. something something Rice Lake W.I. Wisconsin, I believe. So, yeah. So that's the receiver. It comes with. Oh wow, it's kind of stuck in there. But it comes with two factory mags, eight rounds each, of 22 LR, not WMR or any of that. 22 LR. So make sure. You guys get that. Yep, two rounds. And then it comes with your barrel, of course. Oh my. Some grime on there. I probably should have cleaned that off earlier. Huh. I'll have to clean that. And then here's your little barrel. Um. From what I can see, ooh, yeah, there's definitely some grime in there. I might have to clean that here tomorrow or at some point. 
So yep, it says 22 long rifle only right right here. You don't want to be putting anything else between like WMR. You don't want to be putting any of that crap in there. You want to do only nice uh, the, like hot round, like higher velocity rounds like uh, CCIs or whatever. Um, that's just what I was told when I bought this rifle and it's what I researched. So I'm going to go ahead and now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, assemble this for you. Let's put that back on there. Starting with your receiver. I'm going to go ahead and just slip that in there like that. And then there's a screw on the bottom. You just screw into place. Do it hand tight. Don't over tighten it, but get it tight enough. Takes a little while, but you gotta have patience. So just hand tighten that sucker, and that's that fellow's uh, on there, sturdy. Then you can go ahead and attach your barrel. You just gotta line up this uh, little stud there with the notch there. So you just go ahead, do that. I like to press down and screw it on. It does take a while, so you gotta have some patience with it. And then just as well, just hand hand tighten that, don't over tighten it. And there you go. You're basically ready to uh, lock and load. Insert your mag, and then that your thing pops out, and uh, there you go. It is currently unloaded, as it always is. And then only when you cock it, you can do your uh, safety. So, right now it's on safe, and then if I did, if I push it off, then it fires. But then I cannot put that thing back on safe unless I cock it again. Only then can I put it back on safe, which I kind of think is stupid, but it is what it is, and there's nothing I can do about it because I had no say in how this rifle was designed. So, uh... Yeah, so you have your little peep sights here. Right here, and then you attach it to there. It When I first shot mine, it's kind of hard to... It was really hard to aim through because I have the walk of razors. But... Oh, I don't want to point it over there a little. So I loaded this thing with the CCI birdshot, that I, the, the uh, pest control. I'll definitely hit that thing. Oh man, I want to shoot that woodpecker so bad, but I can't. So I mean, you can hold it right here if you want. It's better if you hold it like this, although it's not the most sturdy uh, rifle. But it does get it does get some. Uh, what's the word? It takes some getting used to. There you go. So yeah, kind of feels weird like I'm holding it sideways, but. Yeah. Then you just press up on this thing, and your thing comes out. Your uh, magazine comes out, and then you can just go ahead and pop in a new one. All right. So now that's a little bit about the rifle. Let's go ahead and get into the ammo. I'm not gonna tell you how much ammo I. Have. Well, you know what? Screw. It. I'll tell you. I have around 445 rounds, as an estimate. I don't know. I'm gonna get more. Don't you worry. Just pull thing. Woodpecker, you are so lucky you're not dead tonight. So lucky. So what I'm shooting is these Remington 50 uh, round uh, Remington Eli target loads. And then I have here we have more Remington Eli club loads. A few more rounds. And then I have 50 more rounds of the Eli target loads. So these are, that's all my Remington, three boxes of Remington. Then I have a box of 235 rounds of Winchester that I got from a coworker. I have not shot any of this yet. I'm saving this stuff. This is my hunting ammunition, if you will. Um, and then I just bought these uh, yesterday after work. 
the uh, CCI uh, Shot Shell 22 LRs for pest control. And then there's all the information you need on it right there. So that all fits in this little bag, which I'm going to have to get an ammo can now that everything's getting so stinking bulky on me. What are you looking at? That's what I thought. You're so lucky. I'm just kidding. Uh, so a little bit about the ammo. Um, yeah, these are your basic Remington. I'm not going to break into these because they're sealed. And I want to keep them like that for right now so bullets don't go flying everywhere. Uh, but about my Winchester 22 ammo, you know, you guys, see, you guys have seen 22 ammo. You guys might have this particular box even. Just ammo. You know, just your... Dropping ammo already, and that's one thing I don't want to do. <clears throat> so, yeah, just your basic 22 cartridge. Uh, I have not tested this out yet, but it is 36 grain, uh, 1280 FPS, plated hollow points, and it's good for uh, target practice and varminting, as you guys can see there. And then you've got your other ammo information on the back. 235 rounds. What I really want to test out is these CCIs. Um, yeah, let's just let's break into them for heaven's sakes. I mean, I'm just going to yak about them. Why not show them off to you? But I'm going to have to retape them because they like to come out. So for those of you who don't know what they look like, they look like this. I'm going to take one or two of them out. Yeah, I'll empty. There's three of them. So what I still need to test here is I'm going to go ahead and load a mag. Oh yeah, these loading just fine. I don't know if these, I don't know what the, what's the FPS on this? A thousand, okay, it's a thousand FPS, then these should, these little BB shot shell things, they should cycle fine within a semi-automatic rifle. If I was using like a Henry Lever gun, oh, supreme accuracy right there. Yeah, he's just waiting there, he's just saying, you, you, you're in city limits, you can't shoot me. I'm going to get you, buddy, I'm going to get you. How tempting. How tempting. He's right over there. Alright, it looks like these are all loading up fine. So. You got your CCIs. So, I'm going to have to do something. I, you could, it's hard to unload these by hand. So, I'm going to have to basically start chambering rounds here. But it is on safe, and my finger is off of the trigger. So, I don't know if you guys can see. Yep. And then, that should put that puppy back. Come on, stay there. Oh my goodness, why does thing have to make so difficult? Anyway. And then that will chamber the next round. Then that will come out easily. And then that will chamber the third round and eject the third round. And now, magazine is clear. The barrel is clear. Go ahead and take that off safe. So, these are the CCI 22 long rifle shot shells. And there's 20 of them.
crazy neighbor. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, there's those look like those load in fine. Anyway, I still haven't yet to sh I haven't ever shot CCIs, so I'm waiting to do that. Uh, when I have some PTO pay time off, whenever I can kick my butt or my when my buddy can take me shooting, so. That's the plan as of right now. Man, I just like these mags though. My goodness, these are dirty. The only the only thing I wish about these mags is that they made higher capacity mags. I'm still looking at that woodpecker. I mean, he's right there. <sighs> anyway. You've distracted me long enough, buddy. So yeah, that's just a little bit about my 22. I know I'm getting distracted by a bird. He's annoying. So yeah, my gun's a little dirty right now, but I'll probably clean it. So now, just take it down. You basically just reverse your steps. Take your barrel off. Go ahead and undo your receiver from your stock. Make sure there's no ammunition in the chamber or anywhere like that. Go ahead and tilt this upside down. And then you can just basically just start all over again. And then you can also, what you can do is, if you want to be like a, just ready to go flip it out, you can load these, have it in the, in the receiver, and you can actually insert the whole thing in there, loaded and ready to go. But, seeing as there's ammo storage, I don't know why I'd want to do that. So... I'm just going to put that in there, put my mags back in, out of the way. Interesting. I wish this was in 17 HMR. I'd rather have one in 17 HMR, but 22 will work, so I'm thankful for what I got. I've yet to take this hunting. I've yet to do a whole bunch with this. If I do go on vacation or something, let's say I go to Iowa or Missouri or Illinois or wait, I can't go to Illinois with this. That's unfortunate. Um, I feel you, my Illinois people. I, I know what you're going through. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much about this rifle. There's no, I really don't know what else to say. It's it's a good rifle. It's a very good rifle. I wish I, I do have some footage of me shooting it. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to put it in here. I will try to get an editing software. I'll try to put it all in there if I can, but I make no promises. But if I can't, message me for those of you who have my contacts, and I can get you that shooting footage. So Make sure that's all sealed. There's still a little varnish showing up, but that's all good and dandy and there you go throw it in a backpack and out of mind out of sight or out of sight out of mind how do you want to say it and then now I gotta put this ammo back good gracious I need more space for ammo so yeah that being said um that is my review on the 22 LR Henry US Survival Rifle. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments. Personally, message me on Instagram, Facebook, you know, WhatsApp, whatever you want. Um, I recommend this 100%. Definitely. Seeing as way the time the countries are going, this country's headed, this is definitely going to be going where no other guns are going let's say I'm going on a road trip 
I want to bring my shotgun or something, like a, or a longer rifle. I can't. Space is limited in a minivan. Just throw this in my bag. I still got firepower. Better than nothing. Um, so I'm very glad to have this. Um, actually, I want to go pop soda cans, but I just haven't had the time to do it. So if any of you guys are in the Tucson area, let me know. And let's go pop some cans or do whatever you feel like doing, you know. So... But if you're looking to pick one of these up, highly recommend it. This I give this thing two thumbs up. The sights do get a little, again, they do need some getting used to. But they do work, and the uh, this is a very good survival rifle. Now I can point this thing now that I don't have the stinking barrel on there. Oh, buddy, how you would be mine. But then again, I'd probably shoot the antenna, but I don't really care. Because he's just sitting there staring at me. So, look at you. One of these days, buddy. One of these days. You are going to be mine. So don't count on your luck. But anyway, yeah, look, I keep getting distracted by a bird. I mean, some of you may have that happen to you once in a while. But. Woodpeckers are annoying, as we all know. So, but I can't shoot them because here in Arizona, they're I think they're an endangered species, so I can't shoot them, unfortunately. So that's just a law around here. Uh, but anyway, as far as the rifle goes, two thumbs up, three thumbs up, five thumbs up, twenty hundred thousand thumbs up. Have at it. Good rifle, throw it in a bag. Need some extra firepower. Need a twenty-two. Look here. Go pick yourself. Go pick your one. I cannot speak right right now. Go pick yourself. Hmm. I can't seem to talk. Go pick yourself one up. That did not come out good at all. Go get one. Okay. Just go get one. Go pick one up yourself. There you go. That was it. Perfect. So go get one. Try it. Shoot it. Ask someone about it. Um, I'm here to verify this is a good rifle. You need a little package to throw in a bag if you want. Because a long rifle or a shotgun's too big. Boom. Right here, boys. Right here. It's only, I think it's like 200, 300 bucks. I got this one for 260 bucks, actually, at my local gun shop. So get them all last, boys. Because 22, people aren't stockpiling 22 right now. They're getting 9 millimeter, 45, 40. 223 and 556 and maybe some 12 gauge here and there but now people are starting to reload so oh there's another one just for me so mm -hmm. anyway go get them 260 bucks i think uh my ffl when they checked me out it took a little more than 15 minutes but that's all good and dandy my first time first gun it's all good i had patience i just could not resist i, I it was the cheapest gun they had in there, and I wanted a 22, so I couldn't pass up a good opportunity to get a 22. So I got a 22. That's what I did, and that's what I'll have. So if I'm ever carrying a big bag, you can guarantee I'll be carrying this into the country or something. Like if I'm out doing whatever, uh, this thing will be with me. So as I said, like, share, subscribe. Go get one of these puppies. Go see for yourself how good Henry rifles are. Many of you guys actually have the lever guns. They are very good. Um, yep. Henry repeating arms right there. As again, made in America. Or not made them. I keep ruining everything. Made in America or not made at all. Have a good one, guys.